Pinapasalamatan ko po yung best friend ko. Si Reverend Don. Hindi ko mararating to. <laughs> Kung hindi mo ko natulungan at sinamahan sa bokasyon, papagdasal din kita magiging if what is God's will sa atin. God will never leave you. God will always be with you. 13 years. Parang kahapon lang. Masasabi ko po parang simbahan po ng Santa Clara yung bukasyon ko. Nagsimula sa maliit na kapilya. Hindi po ganito kalaki. At kung malapapansin niyo po, ang Santa Clara po, yung lugar po namin, hindi po ito pang mayaman. Kung mapansin niyo po yung paligid, hindi po ito pang mayaman na lugar. Pero may malaking simbahan. Ano pong ibig sabihin nun? Napaka-generous ng mga tao. Nagtulungan. Kaya after so many years na natayo po itong simbahan, at ganun din po ang aking paniniwala, kaya po ako ngayon naging pare, hindi dahil sa aking sariling kakayanan. Bagkos, marami pong tao ang tumulong, ang sumuporta, at nagmahal sa akin para makamit ko po ang lugar kung nasaan po ako ngayon. Three questions for this uh, sharing on this Thanksgiving Mass of Father Jason. The first question is, who has the vocation? The second, what did Father Jason ask the Lord? And the third, what did the Lord give Father Jason? Who has the vocation? The late Jaime Cardinal Sin, who ordained me as a priest and who greeted me when uh, I uh, was to be ordained a bishop, consistently asked me, where is your mother? And I wondered why. And then he was telling me always, it is because I know it is not you who have the vocation. It is your mother. Kaya nga pag nakikita ko si Libay at nakikita ko ngayon na pulang-pulang suot, no? parang donyang donya. No? At hindi uh, ko nga alam ko si Imelda Marcos na itong nakita ko ngayon. No? Tinatanong ko, sino ba talaga ang may bokasyon? Si Father Jason o si Libay? The proud mother. Even from the mother's womb, this calling has started. This whole formation to becoming a priest in the mother's womb of Levi. And that gift has been formed and has truly been into fruition. For we see now the vocation in the flesh. What did Father Jason ask from the Lord? I'm sure, Father Jason, in your life, given the message of our gospel, perhaps you have asked that you persevere in your religious life and that later on, if God wills, you become a priest. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Father Jason, there is nothing wrong in asking from God what 
you want in life. What you most desire. Because from the depths of your heart, sa kaibuturan hindi lang ng iyong puso, kundi iyong kaloob-looban, ang talagang hinihingi mo ay hindi pagiging Dominikano, hindi pagiging pari. Ang hinihingi mo ay ang Diyos. Ayaw po natin sa mga taong paasa yung mga iiwan sa ere. Pero ito yung salitang paasa, I've realized, mababago po yun ng isang letra. Ilagay po natin yung letter G sa gitna ng paasa at magiging pag-asa. At sino itong letter G na to? Walang iba kundi si God. If we welcome God into our hearts, there will always be hope. Pag-asa. What you have actually received is God. God in you. From the moment you became a human being to becoming a Christian, the movement to religious life when you made your vows and you became a deacon and now a priest. God in you. You know what God gave you? God gave you the Paschal Mystery, the suffering, death, and resurrection of Christ. For that is actually the priesthood. Ang buhay ng sino mang sumusunod sa Panginoon ay buhay ng pagtataya, pag-aalay, pagbibigay ng sarili, handang magdusa at mamatay para sa Panginoon. You know, Father Jason, I'm over 28 years a priest. And I'm over 13 years as a bishop. And believe me, kung pwede lang, sana hindi na. Pero nandiyan eh. Mahirap pa lang maging pari. Mahirap magpakapari. Mahirap maging obispo. Mahirap magpakaobispo. Pero ito yung ibinigay ng Panginoon. And I have to embrace the Paschal Mystery. So do you and any other bishop, priest, or religious. Father Jason, indeed, you have the vocation. Indeed, you have asked for God. Indeed, God gave you the Paschal Mystery. Live your life as a happy and holy priest, a happy and holy Dominican, so that you may radiate nothing else but the joy of the priesthood, the joy of Christ.